If we stand in front of a mirror, what we see? We see that in the mirror, we see ourselves. So that is my image. That is our image. Or even if you stand in front of a metal polished something or like a spoon, metal spoon. If you see in the spoon, you also can see that there is an image is formed. So why? Uh, so what is the definition of image in physics? Where in day-to-day -day life, the definition of image of some persons is different in society and country. But in physics, image has a definition. And we need to know that this image can be two types. It can be real image and it can be virtual image. So what is the definition of image? If you see, they have written a big definitions, but inside itself the explanation is there and the types is also explained in the definitions. And then after that, I'll give you an example how we can see the image in case of plain mirror. And then after, we will talk about how the image will form in case of spherical mirror, like concave or convex mirror. So now, what is the definition? If we see that if rays, now it's, it's the thing like rays, that means the light rays diverging from a source incident on a reflecting or refracting surface. So there are two different surfaces. One is reflecting surface and one is refracting surface. What is reflecting surface? Reflecting surface are those, this is the mirror. Here, light will reflect as because there is a metal polished done in the outer surface of the glass or something that is known as silvering. Or the refractive surface might be like a lens. We know about lens and in this lens, what is going on? If any light or the rays is coming, then they converge they converge in some point so the, the definition is the rays diverging from a source incident on a reflecting or refracting surface so both surface we need to consider then the reflected or the refracted rays then what will happen these two different rays either it will be reflected either it will be refracted then either they will converge to a second point or they appear to diverge from the second point. That is the explanation. So in the definitions of image, it already explained that the types of image. So when it say that if rays diverge to a reflecting or the refracting surface, and then after that reflected or the refracted rays either they converge into a second point or appear to diverge from the second point that second point is the optical image of the first point so here it becomes a bigger definitions so the, the concept is actually in, in, inside because the definition itself is saying or explaining the types that the reflected rays either if they converge to a second point uh, or if they appear to diverge from the second point. So what is the meaning of diverging from or what is the meaning of appearing, right? Think about this. Suppose this is an object which is straightly Sir, in front of a mirror, suppose this is a mirror, which is M and M prime. This is a mirror and somebody is watching from this place. So what is the science inside? We know that if light comes from a point or from anywhere to our eyes, then we can see. Because the sensation of that image is created inside our retina and then we can see that. So if this person is wants to see the image of this point and then if, if the person looks in the mirror, what is this? What is the consider this is going on? That X, this person is watching that the point from the top of the point is 
falling in this mirror in this way and then it reflected this way. So when it is reflected, this eye feels like it is appearing from this point. And similarly, when from the bottom a light is reflected to these eyes, this eyes is appearing like this, feel like that, this rays is appearing from this point. So this eye will see an image of this object here and this is the plane mirror. So there is some characteristics of the plane mirror and if you see this dotted line is actually saying that it's appearing that from this point it's going but the object here so if you see that the rays either converge so what is the meaning of converge think about it suppose this is a concave mirror this is a concave mirror and this is the focal distance i mean the principal focus and this is uh, the center of curvature so you know that if there is an object there then after reflecting you must see the rays diagram of reflection if it is parallel to the principal axis it will come back to the focus and then if it's the rays come from the focus then it will be reflected through the the the, the way that is actually the parallel to the principal axis now you see in this point what is happening the reflected ray actually converged into a point and this point would be a image so that image is the uh, this is the object's image here so now this is a real image and this is a virtual image because you see this dotted line that means that is appearing from this point but here after the reflection after the reflection the reflected rays points they converge to points and this converging point this is the second point and this is the first point if i say this is the first point and this is the second point now we say that this second point is the optical image of this first point and this is real image now we can see the types of image are two types number one that is real image and number two that is virtual image so what is the meaning of virtual image the virtual image means when they appear to diverge from the second point like this but when it actually converge to the second point like this then it is called the real image so the real image can be observed by the by our eyes and also can be received by a screen but the virtual image can't be received by the screen it's appearing so it's actually converging that is the differences between the real image and the virtual image so what we can say in case of real image that if rays diverging from a source incident on a reflecting or refracting surface then the reflected or refracted rays either converge to a second point or they appear to diverge from the second point and that second point is known as the image of or the optical image of the first point now think about it what we see when we stand in front of a mirror we see ourselves so if we go close then the image appears to more close as because there is some characteristics of the image in case of plane mirror if you see this is equidistance equidistance means what equidistance means the distance from the mirror to the object if it is 5 cm then the object distance is also 5 cm so this is equidistance that means the distance of object from the mirror and the distance of image from the mirror would be same second is virtual because it's appearing from this point so in case of plane mirror always image would be virtual and erect or straight so we can say that erect and virtual 
is the another characteristics of the image in case of plane mirror so it's virtual it's straight and is equidistance four is equal to the size of the object now the most interesting thing is that if I say the the height of the object is 10 cm then we must know the height of the image is also 10 cm so what we can say we can say that it's equidistance and equal size so if in case of in front of a uh, mirror the length or the height of object is 10 cm then the image would be similarly 10 cm and the most interesting part is the last one the lateral inversion will take place what is lateral invasion so the actually the lateral inversion means a change uh, I mean the change of the positions think about it Suppose we are taking a meal with our right hand and watching in front of, uh, I mean there is in front of a mirror, so big mirror. So if you see that you are taking your meal with your right hand and it will appear like you that you see that you are having meal with your left hand. So that is lateral inversions. Think about that what are the English alphabet, they, they will not have lateral inversion in, in front of uh, the mirror. So think about it. If I say what are the, the alphabet, they won't take place in the case of lateral inversions. Think about it. If I say, if I say, I, I, if you see I in a, the image, the virtual and erect and straight image of I, it will be same. But A, B, C, D, E, F and G. All this alphabet will will show will, will definitely have the letter inversions. If you see, they will be differently changed. I, M, won't have the letter inversion. O, it will appear same. T, U, V, W, X, Y. So these alphabet will appear same, they won't have any lateral inversion in case of plan mirror. So you can actually, you can definitely uh, observe and you can see that what are the, what are the changes happens in case of um, plane mirror in, uh, image formations. So I, M, O, T, U, V, W, X, Y from my side, this nine alphabet would have the lateral inversion in, um, in case of plane mirror. So this is a, a simple example or simple explanation of forming an image, actually a virtual straight image of a plane mirror. So the XY length, so the characteristics is important. Number one is equidistant. Number two is straight and erect. Number three is the, uh, the size of the image and size of the object will be same. And the number four is there will be, I mean, the a lateral inversion will take place in case of plane mirror. So I hope you understand the definition of image, the types of image, and also how uh, the image will form in, in, in plane mirror. And also I've also explained a little bit, a very simple explanation of the image formation of a concave mirror and I'm coming up with the next video regarding the rule of six where uh, things will be explained that what are the types and what are the images uh, or the description of images takes place in different positions in front of concave and convex mirror. So see you take care and of course do let me know your recommendations and feedback. I shall be so happy to see your feedback there. Take care. Bye.